Hi, and welcome to my very first attempt at a YouTube video. I am going to be going over how I threw together this gouache painting I made for a TikTok video. This was a super simple painting to make because all I did was cover everything first in this beautiful pink layer and then let that be my background as well as my mid-tone, then simply added the highlights and the shadows on top to create the painting. Starting with a big layer like this is a really great trick to making a painting successful and interesting with a lot of ease. First of all, the color used will set the mood for the whole painting and then you don't have to worry about maintaining or chasing after the mood you desired. Color is a big element that dictates mood in a painting. You can just imagine if I did a blue or green or yellow background, how different the overall mood would be. But I wanted something cheerful and energetic, mostly because this was for a TikTok and that grabs people's attention, so I went with this pink. Secondly, making a big first layer like this makes it really easy to keep a color harmony because all of the other colors used will just blend in with this one. Lastly, all the interesting movement and texture left behind by the brush strokes immediately makes the painting dynamic and full of life, which is definitely desirable. And it also gives you a really cool background with not much effort. As I said, this painting was for a TikTok, and that's why a lot of the footage seems like it's kind of filmed upside down. I filmed it to be vertical, but now I've flipped it to be horizontal to fit YouTube's screen. The painting is of one of my models. I made this sketch of her and really liked it, so using tracing paper, I transferred it onto this watercolor paper. After I put down the pink background layer, I could still see the drawing underneath, but the first thing I did after it dried was outline that drawing because as I painted it, I knew it would slowly disappear underneath the layers of paint, so I just wanted to re-establish the drawing and paint before really getting into the painting. As you can see, all I've been really doing to create this painting is layering on the highlights in a light cream color and then digging into the shadows with a golden brown. And those are really the only two colors I used for the skin on top of the pink. Gouache paint dries really quickly but then rehydrates quickly as well, so every time I added paint, the water would lift up the layers underneath the pink and mix it with the color I was adding. I can then control this with how much water I include in the pigment I put down to blend and make smooth transitions of color with a lot of water, or make dry and noticeable strokes where I want them. For hair, all I ever think is necessary is painting in the darks in the direction and flow of the hair. So really letting the brush strokes do all the talking and the work, and then just doing the same thing on top of the lights where they go. Overall, while the shadows only needed a few layers of painting to be convincing, I had to go back to the lights quite a few times to build them up layer by layer to the correct tone. You need those really light lights to give the elements in your painting the glow and pop they deserve to be beautiful, and you gotta build to get there. Here is how the painting turned out in the end. Please comment any questions you have, and thank you so much for watching.